Let me tell you something. Don't blame a person for not using you. It may be because of you that nobody's using you. Sure, Good morning. Uh, Hebrews 9, verse 16, over there. Uh huh. Keep going. Okay. You guys see that? You don't need to read the caption. But it says, if where there is a testament, there must also of necessity be the death of the testator. Now, you all know when somebody died in your, in your life and you were you stood to it, get an inheritance, that was the most exciting time of your life. My grandpa, my mom, my dad, my uncle, my auntie, some, they left me something. And then you go to the reading of the will, the last will and testament, and you find out what they left you. Okay. Let me tell you this. I have never seen more disappointed people in my whole life than after the lawyer reads the will. Why? Because if they're not left 100% of it, they're upset. And even if there's 10 siblings, if one person don't get it all, they're mad. Here's the good part. Jesus died. And left you everything. You know what this life is supposed to be right now? The greatest life you could ever possibly entertain. Why? Because Jesus didn't leave you without everything. He left you with everything. So that means... And no matter what, in this life, there's only one person to blame if you ain't successful, and it ain't the devil. <laughs> you want to go one step further? We teach this here. The devil is on the cross next to Jesus because he tries to tempt Jesus one more time. Adam's on the other cross telling the Lord to remember or repurpose me, reconnect me, put me back together with you, make me a member back with you as we were. I can tell you right now, powerless. Even Adam's greatest sins are powerless. The enemy's greatest conquest over Adam is powerless. It's all gone and done. And here we are still talking about the devil. The devil that was hanging on the cross next to Jesus? Is that the devil you want to empower? You know that more Christians raise the devil from the dead than people. If you want to say that the spirit of Satan himself was on the cross next to Jesus, then why, are, why do we keep trying to do CPR on the devil? Because everything and every time something goes wrong, who do we blame? The devil. You guys think I'm crazy? I ain't crazy. I'm telling you the truth. This is straight out of the word. If you interpret the word correctly, you will find all of these things. The exact same verbiage he uses to tempt Jesus after he comes out of the unkept garden, which is the wilderness. Unkept garden is getting because he stole the garden from Adam. He didn't really steal it. God kicked him out. Amen. Put the flaming fire in front of the angel. Right? Well, you know that the devil was defeated. He tries to use the same words he tempted Jesus when he comes out of the unkept garden, which is the wilderness. And Jesus didn't buy it. And he's on the cross trying to tempt Jesus through human frailty, which is the flesh. Yes. The pain and agony Jesus is going through. He saw, he saw Jesus in pain and agony. You notice that he can have a full conversation with Jesus because he ain't in as much pain as Jesus is. Yeah. Here's the thing. When you go through something deep in your life, there's more advice you're going to get unwanted and unneeded from people. You're going to get a lot of temptation. Yeah. Here's the real deal for you. When you go through something, only you can appreciate what you're going through. Yeah. 